Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. In today's video we're going to talk about anomalies and I will show you all 48 that I found so far. So just these last four, I don't know, whatever I do I can't find them. So if you know guys what are these other four that I am not showing in this video, please add them to the comments because I really don't know what to do to find these last four. Maybe are not even added in the game yet, I don't know. So then let's start from the top, guys. First are the birds. They can be found in any biome. And it's just birds, they don't do nothing. You can just scan them and get them here, but I don't know why they are here even. Then the next thing is a peacemaker. Found in any zone again. This guy looks like this, and uh, if you drive your car close to it, it will charge your battery to a certain amount. And uh, if you don't want to charge your battery, you can add things inside. And then, so far what I found is only that you can change plasma for three candy, and it's one for one, so one plasma for one three candy, guys. And plasma is in zone one, and three candy is in zone two. So if you're only playing zone one, this is the only way how to get three candy before you get to the zone two, guys. Just add plasma into the peacemaker, and it will spit out the three candy. But you need to choose, do you want to charge your battery or use this guy, because you can use it maybe four or five times if you don't charge your battery, of course. So you can choose one of these two. Then let's go to the beating heart. Now this one again, found in any zone on all biomes. It's a glowing red, like, thing. You cannot miss it, especially on the night, it's glowing like this. And if you drive your car close to it, it will just fix your, fix your car to a certain amount again. And that's that. So this one is helpful. This one is helpful too. Then we have the squalls, guys. So first one, corrosive squall. That's an acid rain. Found only in the mites and in the scorch. So it's just acid cloud. You want to avoid it, of course. Then the electromagnetic squall. Again, the same thing, like a small cloud, but with electromagnetic, like energy, and it will fuck up your car, similar like left-right anomaly. It will start honking, turning off lights, and throwing your car left-right, so you just need to drive more carefully in this one. So blistering wound and red spires, only zone 1 and 3. Then we have the seismic squall, guys. This one is just like shaking the ground, and uh, more bollards will come out from the ground and try to flip your car and things like that so this one is annoying very annoying actually so found in zone one and uh, and two and three so in all three zones of course then the meteorite squall guys this one only in uh, zone three it's uh, this storm when the big pillars fall from the sky and then drop on the ground and create radiation damage that this one and then we have the hurricane squall only in the zone 1 and 2 and it's just high winds that can flip your car and nothing much to it so this one is the easiest one actually from all these five and that's all about the squalls guys so let's move on to the rotten egg then so this guy is actually a product it's, it can be found in Myers and in the scorch and this is just the product from these two belching barnacle and sick Mickey guys. So this guy is found in the mires, looks like this, and it spits out the rotting eggs. And the sick Mickey is the same thing, but this one is, can be found in the scorch and spits rotten eggs again. So sick Mickey and the belching barnacle just in the different area, but both are doing the same thing. So they are spitting these rotten eggs, and if you hit them with the car. You will see the icy damage, of course, Mars and the Scorch. Then let's continue. We have the tour bus. There's just a group of tourists, like in a pile, you know what I mean. And if you hit them with your car or whatever, they will deal heavy damage. So, smokestacks and red spires, only zone 3, guys. Then we have the bollards, of course. So that's these guys who pop up from the ground and just try to flip your car and deal damage like that. So this is only zone 1 and 2. 
then we have the tourist trap so the same thing again just this one is with the tourists so again the baller that will come from the ground but it will have tourists on on it and then it can flip a card and deal heavy damage so this one is found in the zone 3 only then we have the ticking tumblers guys so these boxes usually spawn around blacksmith anomaly because blacksmith anomaly spawns them and then sometimes they can turn into a explosive boxes that you can loot and pick up but sometimes they are just like this and they explode on contact you can even take them in your hands and quickly throw away and then they will explode on contact and deal heavy damage again it's only zone 3 then we have the shaker found in any zone it's just a crack in the earth you know what I mean and it will flip your card it will propel you in the air and then you will receive damage when you fall onto the ground so you want to avoid them again found in all six biomes guys let's go to the moldy balloons then it's only in the scorch again around sick mickey and uh, and vulching barnacle you can find this one so moldy balloon again in the scorch only acid damage so big balloons if they will hit your card they will deal acid damage guys then we have the calf box there's just a cloud found in the mires and in the scorch like this green circle if you run into it you will receive acid damage again so you wanna want this one then the seismic mist the same cloud as the previous one this one is just the electrical damage and uh, if you run into seismic mist it will again throw your car away like turn the shit on and off and things like that so seismic mist you want to avoid cow box the same thing just AC damage electrical damage of course and this is only in the zone one then let's go to the devil grinder again this is a red circle on the ground only found in zone three and it will just heavy damage your car guys so again you want to avoid that then we have the fallen firmament this is like big pillars that fro fall from the sky only in zone 3 and then when they hit the floor they release like radiation damage that spreads you know what I mean the next two are then sick Mickey and Belching Barnacle we said about them this one is in the scorch this one is in the mires and both of them are spitting rotten eggs and they're dealing acid damage then we have the Radiant Rage and the Crackling Crawler guys so the first one is found in Spokestacks and the second one is in the Zone 1 Dam Forest both of them work the same way they are traveling through the ground and they just deal this one deals radiation damage and this one, this one deals electrical damage of course and they just drive around through the ground and try to fuck you up right so you want to avoid them and sometimes around usually actually around Radiant Rage they are sometimes taking tumblers or explosive crates you can loot for explosives then but sometimes not always then we have the tourist there's just a normal tourist like mannequin you know what I mean that you can hit with your car and then it will deal damage found in all six biomes all three zones guys then the same thing we have the shock tourist this one is the same as the previous one is just have electric attached to it so it will deal damage and electric damage only in the zone one and two and we are coming to the bunnies guys so now here there are five bad bunnies and two good ones so a broken one only found in zone one in the damp forest it will deal damage over time if you leave it on your car then we have the dust bunny found in all zones again this one will deal radiation damage if you leave it on your car then we have the burp bunny this one is found in the mice and in the scorch it will deal acid damage guys then we have the bold bunny guys this one is only in zone one it will deal electrical damage of course and the last one is the boom bunny last the bad one i mean is the boom bunny only found in zone three in red spires and this will explode on contact so it will deal heavy damage you want to avoid this one and you can use limb shield against all of them guys 
And now the two good ones are hopped up here. Found in any zone, any biome. If you attach this guy to your car, it will just charge your battery. And that's how this one works. And the happy hair guys is the green one. Found in any zone again. If you attach this guy to your car, it will just fix your car all the time until it's on the car. And you can have this guy as long as you are on the one junction. And then if you leave the junction, it will disappear from your car, of course. If you turn limb shield, it will just... You will remove it with that too. So then we have the airstrip. There's just a wall on the ground. If you drive your car or run through it, it will just propel you in the air and then you will receive damage when you fall onto the ground. But this one is actually good. You can use it to jump or things like that with this airstrip. Found in any three zones again. Then we have the Shaggy Scrambler guys. So this guy is only found in the Mars and if you drive closely, slowly and closely to it or walk, it will just follow you and then attach to your car and explode, you know what I mean, deal damage and fuck you up. So I wanna avoid them, of course, like almost anything else. Then we have the glittering boulder. This guy is actually a good one. Found in any zone again. And it's like a skull, glowing skull, right? And if you drive your car through it or you run through it, it will give you momentarily the boost of speed. But you need to be careful with this because you can end up in a tree or somewhere. But this is good ones. Then we have the left right anomaly guys found in any zone. It's just a circle that uh, if you run with your car into it, it will just fuck up your uh, maneuverability, you know what I mean? It will throw your car left right. You will need to correct it, but this one is easily manageable, so not so bad anomaly this one. Then we have the wriggling wreck. You don't see now on this image too good, but this is like a pile of, I don't know how to say, like pile of shit, you know what I mean? Broken cars or uh, metal or scrap or I don't know how to say, like pile of something, yeah. And if you drive close to it, it will just start charging and then it will explode and deal heavy electrical damage, guys. So you want to avoid that if you see that on the road, only found in the zone one. Then the next we have Minute Man. That's just like small, like pillars of electricity, you know, and they spawn from the ground and move like around you and want they want to caught you in the to hit the electric, of course. And only found in the zone one, so we just want to avoid them, guys. Then we are coming to the pickpockets. These guys, you don't want to mess with these guys because. They are found in the mines and in the smokestacks, so zone 2 and 3. And they can steal things from your car or your backpack, you know what I mean. And then it's hard to get it back if you didn't spot that immediately. You need to go back and look for them and then try to find your part or whatever they stole, you know what I mean. It's very annoying, these guys. And then the abductors, the similar thing. They can pull your car and uh, just then throw it away somewhere in the trees or whatever. You can dodge them easily with the limb shield, these ones. And they can be found in any zone. Flying around, easily spotted because they have a light and you can always see them, right? So then the next thing is hot dust. Found in any zone, it's just a cloud that spreads and deals radiation damage. It just spreads to the ground and just deal the radiation damage, you know what I mean? So found in any zone. Now we are coming to damage dealing anomalies. I mean, the blacksmith anomaly, only in red spires, you know what it is. Big pile of rocks that explode. And then uh, explode and then spawn like uh, ticking tumblers that can explode on contact and then it spawns spikes from the ground and can damage your car again and lift it in the air. So this is like heavy damage anomaly guys, only red spires. You wanna be careful around it. But then we have the can opener guys found in all three zones. It's just a wheel, like spinning wheel that that's going through the ground and it can damage your car and tires and deals damage right and it can blown out your tires so you wanna avoid this guy. 
Then we have the spike log and the spike paddle guys. So both are the same. Spike log is just bigger and you can find it in zone 2 in the scorch. And uh, spike paddle is actually a smaller one. You can find it in zone 1, blistering woods. And both of them will just blown out your tires guys. So you wanna use puncture proof, proof tires with these guys. And then you are safe of course. And now only three left, the bubble glam bodies. Similar as the pickpockets guys, that they, they can steal things from your hands. And if you don't carry anything, they then can pull you or your car on different directions. And they are just annoying, you know what I mean. But you can easily dodge this with just a limb shield. And that's it. So they are found in any zones. I mean only in zone two and three actually, not in zone one. So bubble gum bodies guys. And the last two is Spark Tower, found in Zone 1, you know what this is, when you go pick Plasma they can deal electrical damage and that's it. And the last one here is the Potholes, so again, only rocks flying through the air, found in any zone, if you have the Limb Shield you can easily drive through this, you will not receive any damage. And if you don't have Limb Shield again, this deal very little damage, and it's easily avoidable guys. So now as you can see, that's all 48 anomalies that I found so far in the game, guys. And no matter what I do, I just can't find these last four. So if you know any of the other anomalies that I didn't list here, please add them into the comments, because I really want to find out what these last four are. And, uh, yeah. So thank you for watching this video, guys. If you liked what you see, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting, and join me in another Pacific Drive video. Bye.